Back in 2016, a new pest emerged uh, in North Dakota. This would be the pea leaf weevil. The pea leaf weevil is a small beetle uh, with a, what I always call an anteater-like snout on the head. Uh, one of the ways that I can choose a weevil from some of the other counterparts, other members of that order. Uh, this is often a pest that we've associated with the Pacific Northwest, but over the last few years has gradually come east. In the last few years, it's also been in areas such as Montana and even parts of Canada, such as the province of Saskatchewan. In 2016, it was first found in Golan Valley County, just outside of Beach, North Dakota. In 2017, that range expanded from that initial location, with sites being found again in Golden Valley County, uh, in Stark County near the Dickinson area, and of course, getting up to that Ward County, Montreal County area, especially in that Plaza McCody uh, region of those two counties. Later that year, another crop was found to have some damage being inflicted by a larva of the pea leaf weevil. This would be fava bean, uh, where that immature specimen was being found attacking the nitrogen fixating nodule of that fava bean plant. When we look into the year of 2020, this is a specimen that has already led to some damage in, in some of those observations, especially in parts of the southwestern part of the state, where many of those reports have come from. When you think about the adult, first of all, it can lead to some damage, especially early in the growing season as those plants are beginning to emerge. We often look for the half moon shaped notches being uh, bitten out of the clam leaves, the two freshest leaves at the top of the plant as we work up to that six node uh, stage of that plant. Uh, if you have a economic threshold where more than 25 to 33 percent of those plants have those notches in your evaluations, that is a suggestive of taking a foyer application to protect that crop. Once you get beyond that six nodes stage, uh, typically, that's a time where we start to lose last year's adults and the new generation from the eggs that have been laid will begin to hatch. At that point, we'll begin to see those immatures go underground and feed on those nitrogen fixating uh, nodules on those pea plants and as I mentioned earlier, on some fava bean plants. There's not a whole lot of action that can be taken when thinking about counteracting the damage from that immature, of course, that being underground. One of the things I should mention is, what does that adult specimen look like? The adult weevil, as I mentioned earlier, does have that uh, characteristic snout that many uh, other beetles don't have, although there are some beetles, other weevils, like the sweet clover weevil, that look very similar. This particular specimen is about a fifth of an inch long, a light color brown uh, for that coloration scheme. So again, always look for the half moon notching and look out for that adult. If you reach that economic threshold, go ahead and uh, reach out to that county agent uh, if you need help determining an insecticide to apply, or you can also reach out or look up on that North Dakota Field Insect Crop Management Guide for suggestion insecticides that you could use to apply.